Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. It is Saturday evening, 6 o'clock, and um, I have been in the kitchen doing spring cleaning slash reorganizing this half of the kitchen. So if some of you have been with me for a while, you'll remember that, I don't know if it was last summer that I put these uh, shelves in and made this an open pantry so if you remember that i have been working on this all day long so we got up early today we get up early every day because well the cats wake me up <laughs> so <clears throat> and then i decide to stay up so i can be productive in the day so today my goal was to reorganize this area which was in disarray and there's Prissy right there. <laughs> so that chair is for the cats. They like to sit on there and lay on there sometimes. And it's cute when they both sit on there. But um, anyway, back to the reorganization. My goal today was to get this area reorganized because it was in shambles. It was in so dis... It was just in disarray. <laughs> I had stuff all over the floor. I needed to get that all cleaned up. So <clears throat> I had uh, organizing baskets on the floor. It was just a mess. So I got those all cleaned up, put them in a tote. So if I need them, I can grab them out of the tote instead of leaving them hang out. <laughs> all right, so let me uh, show you what I've done here. Now this is new in here. If you remember on one of my last videos, I cleaned this uh, set of drawers out because that was where I used to keep all my Etsy stuff. So now it's got stuff that used to be on the open shelves. So all this small stuff in the drawers used to be on the open shelves, which kind of irritated me because it was a lot of small stuff and it just got lost in there. <laughs> so now Blackie's over there too. So, <laughs> all right. So got the chair here. I've got this uh, little thing of a uh, basket. It's a rolling basket tray. And I basically keep the uh, pet stuff up here. Yeah, you're going to hear Prissy meowing along the way. So, so up here, um, I took this jug that used to be a thing of treats for Gypsy, and I put all her minis, milk bone minis in there. So here are her jumbo ones, some dry cat food. Now this little thing here is a uh, salmon cat food, but all of a sudden, out of the blue, Prissy does not like salmon anymore, so I can no longer buy salmon. <laughs> but I have all their canned cat food here. Yes, um, it's a lot. And it's all organized. <laughs> but again, Prissy can only eat wet food. So the first two trays are pet stuff. The bottom trays, I just have... <laughs> Blackie's trying to get my finger. Uh, the apples and uh, little cuties we got from the pantry. Some small tomatoes. That This tray right here is going to be for potatoes. But I have them in the hallway now because it's still cool, cold enough outside where they stay fresh longer in the hallway. And then onions down there. So that's taken care of. Now on to uh, the open pantry here. Now on this tray here, you're still going to see some small stuff. Now this stuff here... From where this bag of cornflakes is to the peanut butter, all that stuff was on the bottom shelf. That was our restock or our extra stock up of condiments and things like that. But all that small stuff on the bottom shelf became too much and kind of a pain in the butt to go look for that stuff in the bottom shelf. So I wanted it more accessible. And then I put the big stuff down there. All right, so let's go shelf by shelf. Uh, I've got paper towels up here. Uh, this is a six pack of 18, that equals 18, so six mega packs or six mega rolls. And then there's two rolls right here. 
and some napkins and paper plates that we got from the pantry and a water water jug for the refrigerator. So my goal eventually, um, but as you know, everything takes money, <laughs> um, to have this whole shelf filled with paper towels, um, just as stock up. So yeah, I would like all that to be paper towels up there. I would be more comfortable in having that kind of stock up in paper towels. But it is what it is, and that's what we have for now. So now this shelf is extra stock of stuff or just stuff we might need. So I don't hardly have to go into this shelf here because it's uh, extra stock of some stuff. So I'll just show you what we have. So this whole row here is all peanut butter. And these two, these two here in front are both opened. I opened one by mistake. So I know I have to use these first, which will be no big deal if I make cookie, peanut butter cookies or peanut butter bars. I'll use that up in no time at all. But that's all our extra stock of peanut butter. And then this row here, I've got a couple jars of dill relish because Glenn likes dill relish on his hot dogs. And if we have fish, he makes his own tartar sauce using dill relish. And then back here, just got an extra jar of olives. And then I got two jars of pizza sauce and a big jar of uh, spaghetti sauce. I got the lime and lemon juices that I recently purchased at Walmart. Got my backup jar of uh, soy sauce. Got a backup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce, a backup of Picante Sauce, and then back here, this is uh, Teriyaki Marinade, and then Honey Barbecue Sauce and Hot Barbecue Sauce. So all of uh, the hot sauces and uh, barbecue sauces that you all sent Glenn are on a different shelf right now. <laughs> so I am not done organizing in this kitchen but my goal today was to do this. And I really didn't think I was going to get it done. But I was so proud of myself I got it done. So, yes, very proud of myself. <laughs> uh, this is a bag of regular cornflakes. And the reason I have them here is because I would crush these up and use them as a coating on like chicken. Fried chicken or oven baked chicken. And then I got a can of panko breadcrumbs. And then... Back here is olive oil, and this one is canola oil, both sprays. And then over here I have my stock of uh, tea, tea bags. Um, again, I use these Walmart ones when I make iced tea, so this is my backup. I'm currently on this one, and this one was sent in by Corey, and I use that when I use when I drink hot tea. So back there. All we have back here is a little bit of syrup and a little bit of pancake mix and a box of cream of wheat, which Glenn doesn't eat cream of wheat. So uh, sometimes I'll just make that for myself. So over here, just have some uh, Nesquik chocolate syrup. And no, this does not have to go in the refrigerator. It even says on the bottle, uh, do not refrigerate. So... We've had a couple of these bottles already. They don't need to be refrigerated. So other than that, got some Quaker oats, which I use for oatmeal raisin cookies and some lard and vegetable uh, shortening. And this uh, little thing of mini wheats for Glenn I got from the pantry. And back there is a box of white cake mix. And I put half because there's only half of the pack. And again, if you've been with me for a while, you know when I make like a, a jello poke cake, I only use it in an 8x8 pan. So I only use half of the bag and save the other half for another time that I make jello poke cake or a white cake. So since it's just Glenn and I, I make small cakes. And back here, coffee and coffee creamer. So that's what's on the top show. Again, I'm just seeing what works best. I just know I didn't want this stuff on the bottom shelf because it becomes a pain in the butt to try to look all the way down there in the back. So 
much easier and accessible up here. So on the next shelf is our the storage containers and some stuff over here. So over here, I've got sugar. Now, if you recall in the last Walmart haul, I only got a 10 pound bag of sugar, which I did not like um, because I like to get the 25 pound bag, but uh, yeah, you just have to budget and see what you can get. So the 10 pound bag fit in here with a little bit extra. So this is all the sugar I have now. Um, back there is brown sugar. I do have a couple more packs of brown sugar to fill that up with. And then, uh, this is filled with powdered sugar and that's all the powdered sugar I have left. And back there is flour and I do have some more flour left. Uh, rice and I do have more bags of rice that I can fill this up with Oops, I love these containers and that's filled up with pinto beans So yeah, these containers um, three of them were gifted to me by a subscriber and Which made me want to buy more so I actually want to get another set or maybe a mixture of different sizes Because I'll show you on the next shelf what I'd like to do but I love these containers. And over here, because I can fit two more here. <laughs> so over here, these are all our taco shells. So these are taco shells you put in the oven that we got at the pantries. And then over here, two uh, boxes of saltine crackers. And two boxes of graham crackers, which, as you know, I use for crust. So that is that shelf. Then this shelf is full of like pastas, uh, noodles, instant potatoes, mac and cheeses, and things like that. So what I would like to eventually do is get more storage containers. One that would fit lasagnas, uh, lasagna, uh, the sheets. And then another one to fit all the elbow macaronis because we have quite a bit. And I'd like to get a, a storage container for spaghettis. That way I can get rid of all these boxes. That's what I did today is I got a lot of stuff out of their boxes. And boy, did I get a collection of stuff to throw out to the recycle. So I was very, I, I just, yeah, I eliminated a lot of stuff. So yeah, we got a bunch of pastas and my goal like I said, is to get more storage containers to uh, put all these pastas in. I, I Once I open this stuff, I usually tape it shut. So hopefully it stays fresh. And then over here, this container is all nor, nor sides, pasta sides. Whether it's pasta or rice, but that's full of nor. And then back here... These two things are full of uh, Idahoan instant potatoes. <laughs> Both of them are full of it. You can see they're packed. So we got a good stock up of this stuff. And then over here is just like some mac and cheese, one box of hamburger helper, rice aroni, things like that. So that's that. And then down here, these oils, uh, we usually get these from the pantry. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. So I got a good stock up of those. I get these at the at Walmart, canola oil. I got a full one back there. And then uh, back there is vinegar. So that's the oils. And then, oops, sorry. And then all of our cereal. I used to have them on the very top. Now I put them on the bottom, so... So a lot of those boxes are closed still. So we got a good stock up of that stuff. So yeah, that's what I did today. Yeah, and what I forgot to do is take video of before. So I apologize for that. But trust me, it was in shambles. <laughs> I didn't know what was where or what we had. <laughs> it just got to a point where stuff got thrown in there and so i knew i had to get this stuff straightened out so that is 
what I call our open pantry right there. And then this set of drawers is what I brought in, what I cleaned out the other day. So on top, I just right now have bread. Um, I ended up getting some of those Keebler M&M cookies in the regular size. So I got those and some chips, pretzels, things like that. So now, now all of this was on this open pantry. So you can imagine how, what a mess it looked like. But everything in here also was on, in the open pantry and they really look in shambles. So I'm going to take you through each drawer. So we got five big drawers and ten skinny drawers. So I'll go drawer by drawer. So in this one, I got jellos and puddings. So th this is all jellos right here. This is all puddings. This is all like baking stuff, uh, coconut flakes. Uh, this little baggie has mini M&Ms and a little bit of chocolate chips. Uh, milk chocolate chips down here. Percy Kisses. I got a couple bags of uh, pecans and uh, a bag of chocolate chip cookie mix. So this is all baking. And again, I don't know if it's going to stay this way. I'm just trying to see what works for me. This drawer here just has snacks, peanuts, uh, nuts, stuff like that. This is some popcorn. Uh, these are bags of microwave popcorn. This is a bag of granola that I like. Sunflower seeds that we got at the pantry. Pistachios, peanuts, all this we got at the pantry. So this is our snack drawer. This drawer is all rich crackers. Yeah, we got all of these rich crackers except the ones at the back. These are the... Um, those small size, we had a box of them, so we, we bought those. But all of these, six box, six closed boxes, single rows, and one open. I just tape them shut. Uh, Ritz crackers. So I'm set on Ritz crackers. <laughs> and that's just like ramen stuff. If we eat them out, and then I'll, I'll just replace them. So that's that. And then we'll go on to the skinny drawers. And this is all drink mixes. This side is all lemonade. This side is all fruit punch. So if we never had any drinks in the house, as long as we have water in these packs, we got drinks. So Glenn likes uh, the lemonade. I like the fruit punch. And these are just the Walmart brand, uh, sugar-free. And they taste really good, too, so... That's just drink mixes, and when I had them in the open pantry, I had them, I just had a bunch of boxes of these sitting up there, so that was kind of irritating. So we got, put them in there, and this is like seasonings, like we got some uh, Lipton onion soup mix, and then we got ranch dips down there. This side right here is like taco and fajita seasoning, over here is like chicken Chicken gravy mix and turkey and aju sauces with the brown gravy mix and then some horsey sauce and Taco Bell sauce. Things like that. This is uh, again snacks, uh, applesauce, peaches in a cup, uh, some Ritz peanut butter sandwich crackers, uh, these Fritos and animal crackers we got at the pantry last week. Got my fruit bars, fruit snacks, roll up, fruit roll ups, things like that. So that's another uh, snack snack drawer. This is all raisins that we've been getting from the pantry, and they're all closed. So it's all raisins. One bag of one big bag of marshmallows. One bag of fideo. So that tells me I need more stock up on fideo. And for those of you who don't know, it's like a really skinny spaghetti type. Um, I haven't made it in a while, but I just make it with tomato sauce and corn. Nothing in there, nothing in there, and nothing in there and there. So I have some drawers left if I need to change stuff up. But that is what I've been working on. 
So again, we got up early. I made breakfast. And uh, and then shortly thereafter, I got to work on this. Cleared up everything off the floor, which looks much better. <laughs> yeah, I just had so much stuff everywhere. I had to, uh, I had to get this done. And I, again, I'm surprised I got it all done today because I didn't think I was going to. But I just kept going and I got it done. I was going to make uh, for supper the cube steak uh, and coated in flour and fried up with some mashed potatoes. But by the time I got done with all this, taking out all the garbage and recycle, breaking down boxes, I was like, I'm done for today. <laughs> so I just went and got us a couple hamburgers. So we've already eaten. We're done for the night. But it feels so good to see this when I walk in the kitchen. But I just wanted to show you this part. I am not done by far organizing in the kitchen. So once I get to another area, I'll show you that area. And eventually, I'll show you the entire kitchen. So, all right. So that is my kitchen reorganization for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I truly appreciate all the support and all the comments. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.